Holy shit. Okay, so long story short, this computer, and I'm doing this handheld, that's why it's going to be goofy. So this computer got hit by lightning. I know it's a wreck, but this is in the late night out after hours, and we're going for it. So this hard drive is off of a customer's hard drive. This was in this computer that got hit by lightning. It fried. The power came in the Ethernet port, and then it ended up cooking those four resistors right here. This whole board was basically dead. Well, I ordered in a compatible board. We swapped over the BIOS chip and take a freaking look right here. So hopefully I'm not showing you any names. We have data. We haven't tried to copy it yet. We're going to try and do a backup on it. We're using 131 gigabytes out of 799 on a 930 gig drive. So there it is. Uh, let's close this properties window. Collision link. CCC portal. And if we go to users. I hopefully, hopefully we got your data, I think. I'm not guaranteeing. We're going to try and copy it. So, yeah, that's that's awesome. We're going to try and copy this data over right now. The problem is there's stuff on the C drive, so maybe we'll just copy the whole hard drive to another one. I don't want it dying midway through or something like that, so we're just going to copy the drive. Okay. We have a brand new SSD. It's 256 gigabytes. I have to do all this one handed because I'm holding the camera. All right, we have our clone drive ready to go. Let's get over here and get it plugged in. Okay, so we're going to plug in with our USB and then our clone drive is here. And we're going to fire up Acronis. Where is Acronis? Yes. We're going to clone disk. And we're going to do automatic. We'll hit next. We want the one terabyte USB. Not, not the my book. This one here. So we're going to do that one there. That'll be next. And when we see the drive letter at the end, we'll know. We're looking for drive letter E. I'm trying not to be too shaky with this. Super excited. Data recovery is not my specialty. All right, just get the dang drive. All right, and there's the list. And the one that's not initialized, I know we're going for a terabyte down to a 256 gig. But you know what? We're only using 131 gigabytes. That's plenty of room to throw this drive into the computer if we can get the computer going. Yes, yes, yes. So there, there's our drive E, as you can see right there, if it will focus. Drive E, bang, we're going to proceed. I hope we can get this clone. I really hope. I can't believe that drive powered up and stuff. It took forever, but once it figured itself out, it popped up, and it's hopefully going to start reading and cloning over, and we'll have a good working clone that isn't a mishmash of two different drives. Super excited. I'm going to uh, sit and edit this together tonight. It won't be too long of a video, and upload it and send a link. You can check out the video, and hopefully give it a thumbs up, man. If it works, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, share this. Even if we get the successful clone, that's not a drive I would trust. That thing's been hit through, a, you know, basically a lightning strike. So, <laughs> wish me luck. Okay, we just about missed it. Less than a minute left. I'm holding out.
we got your data. It took three hours. I stuck it out. We're going to see what the scoop is real, real soon. I know that less than a minute doesn't actually mean less than a minute. It's, it's going to be well over a minute, but. It's not reading near as much as it was, but we're, we're still getting it. We're just waiting on Acronis to finish up its process, and uh, we'll verify that we can read from the clone and go in and uh, just check everything out and make sure it successfully cloned. I wish I could have got that popping up, but there it is. Let's hit OK. Okay, so there we have it. We can see it in ONO Partition Manager Manager ONO Partition Manager. 238.47 gigabytes. There's Acer. That was our E drive, but it was on a one terabyte. We now have the drive there. So real quick, let's uh unplug it again. And we're gonna plug this into our toaster here. I think we have an F12 boot menu. I'm not sure. We'll see. We'll see if we can possibly boot that thing on this computer. I doubt it'll work. Or delete. Which one is it? F12 display boot menu. Did the reboot. It may not work in this computer running as an external. Uh, we're going to point this down just to see what until we see what comes up. All right. There we go. We're booting from your drive. Okay, let's talk about it. We got the working clone from the hard drive that we did a BIOS chip swap to get the drive to power up and boot. We actually booted the drive on our Acer all-in-one computer with an Intel processor. The specs were close enough that it just had to get a few of the devices set up, and it is functioning as you can see. So yes, we got your data. If you're watching this, we ended up getting those clients customer clients data uh, we have it booted we can pull that off whatever we need to do we could do a data backup with our software we could probably even throw this in a similarly spec intel laptop and hopefully not blow out the activation if we needed to but we got the data and there it is And whatever that program is. All right. And like I said, what we had to do basically, this is the hard drive that was in the laptop that get hit by lightning or a power surge, whatever you want to call it. Ends up these drives were manufactured about seven, eight days apart from each other. So very, very, very similar. Ended up taking the function board off the functioning drive and then I had to take and pull the BIOS chip off which I'm going to show you in a moment once the BIOS chip was desoldered and put onto the from the customer's original drive which is this board here we had to pull the BIOS chip off put it on the drive from the functioning hard drive motherboard then put that board with your original BIOS chip on your drive and your drive booted up to let us do the clone and now we're on the microscope. Okay, we're gonna take and go under the scope. So here is the BIOS chip from the good drive, the good board. Basically it's soldered in this position. We had to desolder 
the chip from your board which was here and put it on the functioning board this is the functioning board's bios chip and once we did that the whole circuit board went onto your hard drive and then we voila got it to boot it's not always that easy like i said the drives were made about eight days apart from eight seven maybe eight days apart from each other i think it's not data recovery at its finest but it is data recovery in this case if you're not subscribed already now's a good time to do so give this video a like if you liked it and we're going to repair something fun in the next video to outro this i do want to say that if you are subscribed make sure you have the notification bell checked because i'm going to be uploading a video very soon about the item we're giving away this time and that is a ps4 when you see the playstation 4 video go up make sure you leave a comment on it you need to be subscribed and commenting on the ps4 video if you want to enter for a chance to win it's completely free i'm going to pick a random comment from the ps4 video and that person will win it make sure you're commenting there as i said like the video if you liked it share it help get this out there i try to do repairs try to keep it as real as i can some of them are longer and take forever to edit but you got to show the failures along with the successes because it happens to everyone in this case we got lucky and we had a success it does not always end up that way anyhow thank you for clicking the link coming over hanging out We'll see you in the next video.